Elon Musk recently gave some important and exciting updates on the development progress of Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot, and the Tesla team has made some really impressive progress. In fact, based on Elon's comments, we might even see these robots performing tasks in Tesla's factories as soon as next year. So in this video, I want to discuss Elon's recent comments, as well as how much progress Tesla has made in such a short period of time. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. Back in August of 2021, during Tesla's AI Day, Elon introduced a new Optimus robot project and shared Tesla's goals and aspirations for this new product. However, Tesla didn't bring a prototype to the event, but rather had a person dressed up as a robot dancing on the stage. However, if you fast forward to Tesla's AI Day that was held in September of 2022, Tesla showed during that event some video clips of rough Optimus prototypes performing various actions. However, notice how unrefined the robots look in these clips, and they're still connected to a cord above, very likely to make sure they didn't fall. However, Tesla is making very rapid progress on their Optimus robot. And if you move to this year, during Tesla's annual shareholder meeting that was held on May 16th of this year, Tesla showed this demo video of the Optimus robot standing and walking on its own and also performing some basic mechanical tasks. At this event, Elon did make reference to the progress that Tesla had made on the Optimus robot, comparing once again to what Tesla showed in the past versus what that demo video showed. They have made amazing progress and so quickly. For instance, September 30th of 2022 was when Tesla held their AI day and when they um, showed that pretty rough prototype um, in those videos and also there on stage. And Tesla's annual shareholder meeting was held on May 16th of this year. So that's only 228 days between those two events. And in between those 228 days, um, Tesla made some massive improvements once again to their Optimus robot. They're definitely making improvements at a very fast pace. And do notice here once again in that demo video just how much more refined the robot is beginning to look. So with all that being said, let's now move to some of Elon Musk's comments during Tesla's most recent Q2 2023 investor conference call. During this call, Elon commented that with the Optimus robot program, Tesla is really at the cutting edge of AI. And this is very impressive for a car company because I don't know of any other car company that's at the cutting edge of AI. And this is one of the reasons why Tesla is so impressive because they're so great at so many things. Uh, manufacturing, um, they have a great artificial intelligence team, of course, that has been tasked with working on the full self-driving software uh, mostly, but now they're focusing in on their humanoid robot as well. And as we'll talk about, those two tasks, autonomous driving and powering a robot, the AI required for those two things is apparently more similar than it may seem on the surface. Elon has made it very clear in the past that uh, their Optimus robot uses their full self-driving computer, that same computer that they use in their vehicles, and also it uses the same software as well. This means that their robot program is vastly ahead of where it would be if they had started from nothing back in 2021. They have massive amounts of vision-based learning data that they can apparently use in the Optimus robot. Data that they've collected and training that they've done for their neural net for the driving purposes apparently can be used on the Optimus robot side as well. During this year's annual shareholder meeting, um, Elon referred to what the Tesla AI team is developing as generalized real world AI, meaning that it can be applied to much more than just driving cars autonomously, but it also transfers over to robots too, and likely a whole lot more. Now, during that call, once again, Elon Musk responded to a question about how many um, Optimus robots Tesla had built and also when they would be performing useful tasks. And Elon Musk responded um, by talking about the fact that he thought there were five or six bots right now. They may have built more than that, but ones that are actually functioning right now, it looks like five or six of them. Beyond the number of robots, Elon made it clear that when Tesla went to look for suppliers for, say, robot actuators, that there really wasn't any good supplier for that 
there really weren't um, off the shelf actuators that would work well in a humanoid robot. In response to this, Elon Musk said, quote, we've actually had to design our own actuators that integrate the motor, the power electronics, the controller, the sensors, and really every one of them is custom design. During Tesla's investor day this year, Elon Musk made some similar comments about um, not having good availability of off the shelf actuators, for instance. And um, during that event, he made a specific comment that I believe is really important when he talked about the fact that the actuators, etc., the motors and those other components are being developed by the same team that designed the Model S Plaid powertrain. I have talked about Tesla's Plaid powertrain in past videos, but what the Tesla engineers were able to do with that powertrain is extremely impressive. And the fact that this same team, these same engineers are working on the motors and actuators, etc., for the humanoid Optimus robot, that gives me a lot of hope for a very impressive Optimus robot. Now, while for a lot of companies, not being able to find a part off the shelf may be a huge problem. Um, with Tesla, I believe it's actually a good thing because it allows their engineers to um, design their own products, which they've done very well in the past, to their own parts and their own components to the exact specifications that they need for the end application. And this allows for more efficient parts and better parts. And also it allows them to design them with manufacturability in mind. In a little bit, I'll make some comments about the demand for Optimus robots, but very likely the Optimus robot will need to be produced in very large volumes to meet demand um, if Tesla is able to develop this properly, and I believe they will be. Um, so they need to design the Optimus robot, the actuators, the motors, etc., in such a way with mass production in mind. And by developing their own parts, they're able to do just that. Here are some of Elon's comments during the Q2 2023 conference call about how their actuators, the Tesla designed actuators are better. We are designing these actuators for volume production. So they're not just lighter, tighter, and more capable than any other actuators that we're aware of that exist in the world. These are also actually manufacturable. So we'll be able to make them in volume. At Tesla's AI event back in 2021, they put up this particular graphic and they showed that the Optimus robot, at least at that point, they said it had 40 electromechanical actuators, uh, 12 for the arms, two for the neck, two for the torso, 12 for the hands, and 12 for the legs. And these actuators are extremely important for the Optimus robot to be able to perform tasks and to be able to move and do the things that Tesla wants it to. And I'm really excited that Tesla, the Tesla team, is designing their own actuators, for instance. Elon Musk made some comments during the Q2 2023 conference call that revealed that Tesla is not yet demonstrating uh, a Optimus robot with 100% Tesla designed actuators. Apparently there are just a few components, a few actuators that they're actually using that they didn't design themselves, but they plan to actually have 100% Tesla designed um, actuators in an Optimus robot um, very likely sometime around November of this year. If Tesla was able to have such an impressive demo that was filmed in the middle of May of this year, and it didn't include 100% Tesla designed actuators, once they're able to do that, hopefully once again, um, sometime late this year, if they're able to do that, just think how impressive it's going to be with the custom Tesla designed actuators in the robot. I believe that we will see another step change in the Optimus robot when this happens. And hopefully um, Tesla will have some kind of demos of that come out publicly. Now, when it comes to the question of when these Optimus robots will actually be performing useful tasks and for instance, be used in Tesla's factories, during that call, Elon Musk said, quote, you know, in terms of when it will be able to do some useful things like we'll first be trying this out in our own factories and just proving out its utility but I think we'll be able to have it do something useful in our factories sometime next year. Elon then added, I'm pretty confident of that. So if Tesla is able to start using these Optimus robots in their factories as soon as next year, remember once again that Tesla first started really talking about the Optimus robot in 2021 at their AI day event, when it was really um, talked about and Elon Musk shared those details. And they didn't have a working prototype that they displayed at the event during that time. But once again, there was just a dancing human dressed up like a robot. Um, to go from that, and let's just say 
three years later to have a robot working in a factory doing useful tasks, that's extremely impressive. And I don't believe any other AI startup would be able to do something like that. That's extremely impressive. Now, beyond just robots, Elon also made some interesting comments about the use of some of this technology beyond just putting it in a robot, but actually using it to help humans that have lost limbs. During the Q2 2023 call, Elon referenced the fact that in the USA alone, there are 2 million amputees. Then he stated, quote, and I was just talking to the Neuralink team, and by combining a Neuralink implant and a robotic arm or leg for someone that has had their arms, like all arms and legs amputated, we believe we can give you basically a cyborg body that is incredibly capable. I think it would be incredible to, you know, potentially help millions of people around the world and give them, you know, a robot arm that is as good maybe long-term better than a biological one. Now, beyond the technology itself, why is this Optimus program important to Tesla? Well, during their annual shareholder meeting, once again, that was held on May 16th of this year, Elon Musk discussed how great the demand should be for a humanoid robot that works well, mentioning that the ratio of people to robots could be greater than one to one, and there could be demand for somewhere between 10 billion and 20 billion humanoid robots in the future. During that event, Elon Musk even said, quote, my prediction is that Tesla's long-term value will be, the majority of the long-term value will be Optimus. In addition, previously during Tesla's Investor Day on March 1st of this year, Elon discussed his opinion that Tesla's Optimus program would be worth more than the automotive business. And this is also something that Elon Musk has stated for the energy business as well. So if you really think about Tesla's future, if Elon's right and the energy business and their Optimus business, each one of those separately is bigger than their auto business. Just think about how big Tesla's auto business is projected to be and how big I think it will be and how big um, Tesla wants it to be. If you look at um, two other programs that are going to be bigger than that, that's exciting to think about and to think about the potential that still exists for Tesla as a company. So really to wrap all this up, Tesla very rapidly has become an important player in the humanoid robot space. And with all of their engineering talent and generalized real world AI experience with a vision based system, Tesla may very well be the first company to produce a commercially viable and very useful uh, robot that can be purchased by the general public. One that could soon be very common in factories and also in people's homes. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.